A lot of people use the Powerbeats Pro if they're working out, if they're exercising because of the ear hook, but they are very pricey, the sound quality is just okay, and there are better options out there. Today we are going to take a look at one of those options. These are the Tribit MoveBuds H1. A new pair of earbuds from Tribit. Price on these guys, 89 bucks, and right now you could save 15% and get these for right around $63, $64. Let's take a look and see what we get. So the packaging, typical tri-bit here, the white and orange box. And if we turn it over, you can see the MoveBuds H1. Now, inside of the packaging, we do get the user's manual. And we also get a little card here, just kind of telling us how to put them in your ears. We get a bunch of extra silicone tips and the USB-A to USB-C to charge this guy up. And then the actual... Move Buds H1. You can see the Tribit branding here on the front. One LED light here on the top. This is a big case. Don't get it wrong. This is a very big case, but it is because of the type of ear hooks, earbuds we have here. You can see very different looking, very cool. I like the patterns on the earbuds. The L and the R button on the inside. We do have the pairing button right here. We do have four LED lights here on the front. And overall, that's about it. Now on the back, we do get the port to charge. Now no fast charging on here and no wireless charging, unfortunately. But battery life on here is pretty good. We're going to get about 15 hours of battery life and about 40 total with the case. Now if we take a look at the actual earbuds here, you can see a little different, a little unique looking. And I like them. I think they look cool and they do stand out. It almost looks like a snakeskin on the ear hook. And I do like it. And it almost looks like a vinyl record on the touch controls. And these do have touch controls that I'm happy to say do control everything. Now, these are flexible right here. It's hard plastic when you get up to here and touch controls. And then this part right here, this little hook is flexible. And these are very comfortable. Now, the included tips, make sure you change these out, guys, and put some good silicone tips on there. Get that good seal. Now, the rest of the specs on these earbuds, Bluetooth 5.0. Two, we talked about the battery life already and unfortunately no wireless charging. Now there is an app on here from Tribe, and I'll show you the app really quick. It's not the greatest, but it's a start, right? It is, it is something. There are some presets on there to adjust and get a little different sound quality. It doesn't work really that great though, in my opinion. Now, again, touch controls do control everything on here. We also have AptX. SBC and AAC for our codex. And these are also IPX8 waterproof. So fully waterproof. We get AptX. We get great battery life for a really good price in my opinion. But we're going to check out the mics. We'll talk about the sound quality. And we also have a transparency mode on here. So for the price, right? Already comparing these to the Powerbeats Pro, we're getting a lot more bang for buck. Transparency mode, AptX is one of the codex. We are also getting really, really good battery life. So let's talk about the transparency mode first on these earbuds. It's decent. It's good. Think mid-range. It's nothing spectacular. And you can access it from the touch controls. And overall, for the price, I think it is, well, justified to the level of transparency mode that we get. It's kind of right there, mid-range, maybe a little under mid-range. A little bit of white noise does come in, but overall, it does allow you to hear your surroundings. So if you're running with these, if you're wearing these at the gym, you can turn transparency mode on and you're going to be able to have a conversation and you're going to be able to, well, hear your surroundings. Now, you can also use one earbud at a time on these. Next, let's talk about the app. So once we get into the app, it's not the best, right? And it did take me a few times to connect to the app available on iPhones and Android devices. Now, I haven't tried this on an Android device but just on an iPhone, it was a bit of a pain to connect. I had to do it multiple times to connect. I finally did get it to connect. And just so you know, you have to create an account to be able to use the sound presets. So you can skip creating an account, but all it does is read your earbuds and it's kind of useless. You have to go in, create an account. It's kind of annoying to be able to use the presets. And this is what it will look like here. The Tribit Move Buds H1. If you click on this arrow, it will take you over. And on the bottom here, your earbuds, all it does is give you your battery life of each earbud. And then if you click on Equalizer, you can go in and you can customize it. And if you click on it again, it'll give you the sliders. And you can see that is my customized sliders. And then bass, popular, rap. Now, I want to be very clear about this. I'm glad that we have this. 
But the sound quality, well, the sound difference between each preset, it's basically next to nothing. There is a slight difference in some of the sounds on here, but it is very hard to tell the difference between some of them. It's not the best. Even the one that I customized, it doesn't sound that different from any of the other presets. So just be aware, it's not the greatest app. Maybe it will get better in time, I don't know. But right now, it's just not the best. Now, sound quality, might as well talk about sound quality while we're here. These are a very dynamic sounding pair of earbuds. You have some good bass, you have some good highs. Sometimes it could be a little too bright, but depends on what genre of music you are listening to. And the bass, it doesn't really muddy up anything. It does linger just a little bit, but overall, for the price and... For me, anyway, when I'm working out, I want this dynamic sound, and that's exactly what these are. I think these are a fun pair of earbuds, and I think you're going to really like these. These are not for audiophiles. These are those dynamic-sounding pair of earbuds, that V-shaped sound. The mids are okay. They're clear. They can get a little muddy sometimes, depending on what you are listening to, but overall, for the price, I think these sound great. They're a fun pair of earbuds. Now, let's talk about the touch controls on these earbuds. So again, they do control everything. Now, music is playing right now. If I just touch and hold on the right earbud, you can see the volume is going up. And on the right or the left earbud, the volume, of course, will go down. And these earbuds do do different things. Now, if we double tap on the right earbud, you can see it will actually go to the next track. And if we double tap on the left earbud, it does go back to the previous track. Now, just one tap on each earbud will, of course, play and pause. That was the right. And then on the left, it will start to play music again. Now, if we triple tap on the right earbud, that is going to allow you to go into transparency mode and out of transparency mode. And on the left earbud, if we triple tap, it will bring up your voice assistant, whether that is Siri here or a Google Assistant on an Android device. So let's do a mic test. All right, guys, this is the mic test for the TriBit MoveBuds H1. Let me know what you think. Drop some comments. We are in a very quiet room, perfect conditions, really. And they're decent. The mics are decent. I'm not going to say they're great. They're decent. I took a few phone calls with these, and I didn't have any problems hearing or speaking on these. And the person on the other end did sound or did tell me they sounded good. But overall, my opinion, scale of 1 to 10, I gave it a 7, 6.5. They're okay for a $65, $70 pair of earbuds. Let me know. Drop some comments. All right, guys. So the TriBit MoveBuds H1, $89 bucks is the retail price. But right now, 15% off. Are they worth it? They are. If you are into working out, exercising, these are a much better option, in my opinion, than something like the Power Beats Pro. If you're on a budget, these are a really good option. Sound quality is good. Transparency mode is good. The battery life is good. Waterproofing is good. And the fit, I like them. I think they are very comfortable and overall not bad for the price. But let me know. Drop some comments. Guys, if you're new to the channel, hit that like button. Give me a sub. And I'll be back soon. Peace.